the ever innocent Cooking Mama finds herself in a bit of controversy with Cooking Mama Cookstar for the Nintendo Switch, and this story is just really a bizarre series of events that I want to talk about. A bunch of games are getting remastered for the PS4 and the Xbox One, and I want to talk about what games they are and why I could see this being the trend for the foreseeable future for video game releases. And finally, yes, more Nintendo Switch games have been added to the current Nintendo Switch eShop sale that's going on. I know, I know, we have to talk about these games though because there's some really good deals here. What's going on guys, I'm RGT85. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in the world of video games. So the Cooking Mama franchise has been around for quite a while now, and I was actually around during the heyday of it, during the Nintendo DS and the Wii era. These games were very, very popular with a more casual audience. You basically cook stuff as a mama, so people sort of gravitated to this more casual gameplay style. Now, of course, Cooking Mama Cookstar was supposed to be released for the Nintendo Switch at the end of March. We actually talked about it in our upcoming Switch games for the month of March video, and it seemed like everything was going to be right in line with it. There was a trailer release for the game as well and then it sort of did release at the end of march but very very limitedly the game was available on the nintendo switch eShop for just a mere few hours and then it was removed and people were like well, what, what's going on with that some retailers did get some copies of cooking mama cookstar in but it seemed like it was not a massive big release and many people who wanted to purchase this game quickly found out that they could not purchase this game so because of this people got to wondering why was this game released in such a limited quantity why was this game put up on the nintendo switch eShop? were just a mere few hours and then completely removed. So some rumors started circulating out there that the reason for this was because there was crypto mining in Cooking Mama Cookstar. Yes, when you played this game online, there would be crypto mining, basically mining bit currency for people out there in the world. It's something common you see with some PC games and some mobile games as well, but you haven't seen it in the world of console video games yet, and I don't think it's something we will ever see. So it seemed like this was going to be the first game to actually utilize cryptocurrency mining in an actual video game. It turns out that the cryptocurrency mining rumors were simply just that, rumors. Because earlier today, the website ScreenRant.com actually got an exclusive interview with the developer of Cooking Mama Cookstar. I will have a link to it in the description box down below should you choose to read it. But basically what's going on right now is there is a legal battle between the publisher of the game, Planet Entertainment, and the IP holder, Office Create. So basically this game kind of wasn't supposed to release, but it kind of was supposed to release release and now it's in a whole big legal trademark thing going on with the Cooking Mama franchise as a whole. So as of right now, it's kind of up in the air when this game is going to actually be fully released and put onto the Nintendo Switch eShop. Now like I said, there are physical copies of this game out in the wild and I could definitely see this game end up becoming a very high priced item because of this limited release. It remains to be seen if this will get another physical release for it whenever this IP situation is tidied up and everyone gets to a happy place in this medium but it's an absolutely bizarre situation i don't think i've ever seen a game get released and then get pulled so quickly because of something like an ip dispute when the game was already hitting retailers so if you're wanting to play some cooking mama you might end up waiting for a while but you might want to check your local stores because they could have a physical copy of the game Next up, some remastered games were announced for the PS4 and the Xbox One today. One of them was officially announced by the company behind it, and one of them was leaked by the Koreans rating boards. Basically, the game that was officially announced was Saints Row 3 Remastered, coming to the PS4 and the Xbox One. Now, of course, this was a last generation game. We saw Saints Row 3, the complete package, come to the Nintendo Switch last year with some performance issues, but this is actually a remaster of the original game. Basically, everything will remain the same. It'll have all 30 of the DLC packs from the original release of the game but it does feature things like better graphics and enhanced lighting and a smoother frame rate now the games leaked by the koreans rating board are actually open world games as well except these are in a different franchise these are in the mafia franchise mafia 2 and mafia 3 definitive edition were leaked on the koreans rating board as coming to the ps4 the xbox one and the pc platforms with no release date in mind for these things what's interesting about the mafia games though to me is the fact that mafia 3 already came out on the ps4 and the xbox one and pc that was actually a current generation game so to see a definitive edition get announced via the koreans rating board kind of is leading me to believe that this is something i think we're going to see in the foreseeable future as far as games getting re-released or remastered because of the real world situations going on right now a lot of companies are looking for ways to create revenue and create games without having to spend a lot of money obviously doing something like building a game from the ground up or creating a new ip even takes a lot of time effort and man 
manpower and of course it takes a lot of money by doing things like remasters you can still get games out there games that maybe people have missed on other platforms and get these games into the hands of consumers we're obviously seeing 2k do this right now with the nintendo switch look at that nintendo direct mini that we had where 2k announced that bioshock borderlands and of course xcom 2 were all coming to the nintendo switch a platform that has never had a bioshock game an xcom game or a borderlands game so you're basically trying to reach out into different markets by doing things like remasters maybe even hd collections of games even looking at things that are releasing this year xenoblade chronicles definitive edition sure they added in more content into that game but essentially it is a remaster of the original game i could definitely see this being something that happens in the foreseeable future though just because of everything that's happening in the world right now it's still a great way to get video games out there but you're not having to take that big of a risk but how do you feel about the incoming influx of remasters that are probably going to be hitting the ps4 xbox one nintendo switch and even the ps5 and the xbox series x let me know in the comment section down below and finally, a couple days ago on the channel, we talked about a big Nintendo Switch eShop sale that was currently happening for the month of April. And since then, more games have been added to the list and there's some really good stuff on here. Look, I don't wanna be the steals and deals guy. I don't wanna be the cheap ass gamer of YouTube. But when it comes down to it, you guys seem to like these videos. You guys like to know what games are on sale and I give my input on these games and recommend some of these games. So yes, some more games have been added. I didn't wanna do a full dedicated video to it, but I figured I would give you guys a heads up because there's some really good deals going on right now and yes for the record i did pick up the tourist and like i said i was going to end that video and i am enjoying it but let's get into the list of games so kicking things off sega is having a massive sale right now and some of the usual culprits are on there things like of course mario and sonic at the olympic games 2020 is on there for 40 dollars. but i want to highlight some other games that i think are really good deals the best deal we're going to start doing these with the eShop videos where i kick things off with the best deal my most recommended game and in this list of games i'm going with the sega genesis classics collection a collection of over 40 sega genesis games for just eleven dollars and 99 cents there are modern features on here as well there's a really cool aesthetic to it you can do different things like borders and whatnot this is a great compilation of classic sega genesis games this doesn't require any sort of nintendo switch online service either you actually buy these games and own these games so to pick up this collection of sega genesis games for just twelve dollars that is by far the best deal in this compilation of deals that we're going to talk about and it's definitely my most highly recommended Next up, we have two Sega Ages games that I want to briefly cover. Sega Ages Shinobi is available for $5.99. And what makes this game unique is that this is the arcade version of Shinobi, which is honestly very different than the console versions that we got. The arcade version of Shinobi is considered to be the best version of the original Shinobi game. I know Joe Redifer from GameSack has like the PCB board for Shinobi. He's like a diehard Shinobi fan. So maybe he will pick up and dust off his Nintendo Switch to pick up this Shinobi game for just $5.99. And the second Sega Ages game I want to highlight is Virtual Racing available for $5.99. And this game has been on sale previously before, but I just absolutely love this version of Virtual Racing. It is the best looking version of the game. It is the best playing version of the game. There's local multiplayer. There's online multiplayer as well. Just a real gem of a game. If you like those early 90s arcade racing games and you have any sort of fond memories of this franchise, this is definitely a game to pick up. Next up, Two Point Hospital just came out for the PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch at $39.99, and now it's on sale for $29.99. Do you like Theme Hospital or Theme Park? Well, this is essentially the spiritual successor to Theme Hospital. I really enjoy the theme games. Theme Park and Theme Hospital were definitely two very fun sort of over-the-top games. And Two Point Hospital looks like a really fun game. I haven't gotten a chance to pick it up yet, but now that it is on sale for $29.99, I might go ahead and take the plunge. Now, the next game I'm definitely picking up as I have not picked it up yet, and that is Valkyria Chronicles 4, which is available for just $14.99. Now, I played the demo of this game. I like the overall aesthetic. I like the sort of blending between a strategy RPG game, but I like the action elements in that game as well. There's some real-time combat that you do in the game that I think is really cool. And this was a game that I definitely slept on it got pretty solid reviews and considering that this game is only $15 right now this is the cheapest I have seen Valkyria Chronicles for so I'm definitely biting the bullet and going ahead and picking up this game now aside from Sega sale there are some other games that are currently on sale that were just added Bubsy Paws on Fire is available for $4.99 and you know what 
I hate Bubsy. I don't have, I've never played a Bubsy game and been like, wow, this is a really good game. I don't know why Bubsy ended up becoming popular, but Bubsy Paws on Fire is a bit different. It's made by the same people that made the Bit Trip Runner games, and those games were actually really fun. So I think Bubsy Paws on Fire for just $4.99 is definitely a game that is worth checking out. It got pretty solid reviews. I haven't played it yet personally, but I did like the overall aesthetic of it and the gameplay of it. Maybe this is the first good Bubsy game. It's just kind of a shame that I think Bubsy he tarnished his name so much over the years that people didn't really care about it. Another must own game on this list is Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, available for just $11.99. I would say that this game is just as good as any other fighting game on the Nintendo Switch. If you like games like Marvel vs. Capcom and you like Power Rangers, why have you not bought this game yet? Like, this game absolutely is just so much fun. The combat feels a lot like a Marvel vs. Capcom game with the tagging in and tagging out ability. It's a really good looking game as well some of the backgrounds are a bit simplistic but i really like just how smooth the game is and how fun the game is and of course if you have that nostalgia for the power rangers you're gonna have an absolute blast with this game i actually bought the collector's physical edition of it that came with like all these coins and crap like that i know i'm an idiot but i really enjoyed this game and the fact that it's on sale for 11.99 is definitely an absolute bargain and the final game is one of my most hated games on the nintendo switch but you know what it's on sale for $2.99, and I feel like if you got $3 to waste, why not go ahead and waste that on this game and see why I hate it so much, and that is, of course, Troll and I. Yes, the infamous Troll and I is available for $2.99, and you know what? Maybe if the game came out at $2.99 originally, I wouldn't have been as harsh on the game. I did a review on it way back in the day when it first came out. Just I was very disappointed in the game. Technical issues all over the place, but if you're morbidly curious as to what, what is one of the worst worst games on the Nintendo Switch. You can now check it out for a measly $3. And if you're just a sadist for pain and you like torturing yourself, I guess go ahead and check it out. All right, so that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of everything. What do you think about the whole Cooking Mama controversy, which is just absolutely bizarre? What do you think about more remakes and remasters coming out for current gen and potentially next generation systems as the world is ever changing and companies are having to adapt? And are you gonna pick up any of these games on the Nintendo Switch eShop sale? Like I said, all the deals that we talked about in the previous video the other day are still applicable. These are just deals that were added on top of it. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video i know there were some minor editing issues with like me freezing in some of the previous videos i have fixed all of that like i said uh, my computer just died last week so i've been adapting to my laptop now and putting all my programs on here and trying to get everything up and running i think i've got everything perfect now though so hopefully there are no major editing issues in this video and as always thank you guys for your constant support stay safe out there and i'll catch you guys on the next video later